Welcome, and if you would begin your testimony. Thank you. Hello, my name is Jawhar Ilham, and I'm a student at Indiana University. Over a year ago, I set out to accompany my father, Ilham Tokti, to the U.S. Preparing to depart China, my father and I were detained. My father was held, beaten, and forbidden from leaving China, all for writing about abuse of civil and religious rights. Ilham Tokti is an economics professor, first and foremost, at a very prestigious university in Beijing. He's ethnically a Uyghur uh, and very proud of it. He's a member of Uyghur Pen. It's an independent Chinese pen that advocates for Uyghur language and cultural rights. He's also a public intellectual, and he is the foremost Uyghur public intellectual in the People's Republic of China. His aspiration was to see the full rights to free expression, to cultural expression, guaranteed for the Uyghurs. The Uyghurs feel that they are looked down upon, that they're discriminated against. A number of years ago, he started Uyghur Online, which he intended to act as a sort of bridge in which debate could take place between Han Chinese and Uyghurs in a peaceful, rational, reasonable way. That's really the thing that I think irked the Chinese government the most and they, they saw as a threat. In July of 2009, there were clashes, violent clashes in Xinjiang. The people who disappeared, Ilham kept asking where they were. He put names and faces on these people. And I can tell you, Ilham is not a naive person. He knew that by engaging in such activities, he was placing himself in danger. Ilham Toti's arrest was very much an arrest foretold by him. He anticipated that this might happen, so much so that he left a statement behind to be read and published in the event of his arrest. Rather chillingly, he's anticipating the possibility that he might be tortured. I have never spoken like this before, but I am almost confident that the Chinese government is trying to get rid of me this time. I feel it is necessary for me to leave a few words behind before I no longer have the ability to do so. The path I have pursued all along is an honorable and a peaceful one. If I say anything that deviates from my morals after my arrest, know that those are not my words. The only way I might utter such words is under abnormal circumstances. Please save this conversation from today and be sure to keep it until you need to release it. Ilham Tokti was at home with his children. Public security, state security burst into his apartment. In front of his children, they dragged him away. And that's the last that anybody saw of him. I saw the news, your father, is arrested now. I couldn't move at all. I forgot how to think. I forgot how to talk. My brothers were really scared. My brother described that they, he, he was crying, said they beat my father. They just arrested him and confiscated everything. He was denied any access to lawyers. And recently, he has now been charged with separatism, which in China has very serious punishment right up to the death penalty. Ilham Tokti, like other dissidents in the People's Republic of China, must not be forgotten. And that's why the award by Penn is so significant and means so much to Ilham's supporters and to his friends. He's been arrested numerous times before, and yet he's continued. And it's that kind of astonishing courage that we salute with this award. We have given many, many freedom to write awards. When we have had writers who were being tortured, had disappeared, we have gotten all but four out of prison. It's just the most gratifying thing. Well, the Chinese were not happy when they heard we decided to give this award to Ilham Todi. They issued a potent statement saying that we were giving this award to a criminal, that we were interfering with the Chinese judicial process. Clearly, this has gotten under their skin. The more attention there is to this case, the greater the chance that the Chinese government will 
step back from the worst. 你们最近有没有收到爸爸的消息啊？无法想象的折磨哈，就是各种那样的折磨，所以，而且我我上次也说了，我说像嗯，就是伊丽哈木，他身体也不好，是吧？你爸爸平时也，嗯、所以现在可能律师跟父亲见面，可能还得有一段时间。嗯。I'm sure that they will not release him very soon. I won't give up. My father has protected me for 18 years. And I think it's time for me to start to work for him, protect him now.